Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Clean the City Inc. nonprofit organization brought to you by Blades Uncut. If you're new to the channel, we're just on a run with this yard, y'all. We're just trying to get it done. We've been battling weather. It's looking a little dark today, too, with some clouds, but I think we'll be safe. We're just going to get out and just do the best that we can. So, if you want to know the backstory with this yard, we're helping out an elder by the name of Mr. Ulrich that lives right here in my city of Fort Pierce, Florida. Mr. Ulrich had a rough yard to start with, but we've been knocking down tall grass, some uh, overgrown trees, some vines, and uh, we also sharpened up some of his edges on his driveway. So we're just really trying to help out Mr. Uh, Ulrich with his yard. We know that he's been having uh, just a lot of difficulties trying to do it himself and trying to stay away from the city finding him. The city has been giving him visits and been threatening to find him if he doesn't get the grass down, but he works still. He's still a hard working blue collar citizen in Florida and he's just trying to make sure he pays his bills and stays afloat out here, but he doesn't have help with his yard and he doesn't have time to do it. If you want to know the bat story, go into the old videos and you'll hear the conversations that me and Mr. Ulrich had and he's just, you know, explaining how he fell out in his yard and had a heart attack trying to work on it to keep the city away from finding him and to also keep it nice for himself but things happen yo who knows how long he has owned this home and he's probably just been trying to take care of it himself and now he just can't do it anymore and you'll understand when you get older if you're young looking at this video and you're lost and confused why why does he get out there and do it himself when you become old and you need somebody to help you i want you to remember this video we just got to do the best we can to help our elders out because they are getting the least attention in life right now. Everybody's selfish. Everybody's thinking for themselves and our elders just get left behind. And I'm not going to continue to let that happen. All right. I love y'all. Let's get into the work. We got some work. Raindrops are hitting the windshield. Can y'all see these raindrops? We gotta get the work. Let's do it. Please don't rain on us. Thank you. 
Y'all good? My bad. <laughs>
Ja.
parked in my driveway. Hey, what's going on, man? I didn't think you was gonna be here until a little bit. My bad, I'll move yeah, the truck. They cut a for Christmas. Huh? They cut a for the Christmas. Oh, good, good. You ready for Christmas, man? Uh. What you gonna do for the holidays? Well, watch gone, kids gone. You know, what do you do? Yeah, I hear you. Probably not much. That's well, you know. I mean, I like what I said, your camera out front, but. Oh yeah, yeah, yo, no, you're fine. You're fine, man. You know, I have to. I kind of deal with the same type of thing, Ulrich, because. It has not looked this good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen, man. I ain't even done yet, but majority of the work is done. That's. I haven't even started mowing. It's just mo majority of the work was trimming trees. So, we got everything trimmed up. We got the neighbors' palms off off, off of your yard. So. You got rid of that one, good. Yeah, I got rid of it for you. <laughs> so I'm, um, that's that's all I've been doing today is just chopping up. Cause you see this, this pile look like this. Yeah. But I chop, I'm chopping it up real fine so that your neighbor front yeah. don't be so tall, you know. Yeah. Cause if I put this over there, it's gonna be stacked up high. But if I chop it real fine, it'll be a smaller pile. So uh, I'm sure it appreciates that. Nice. Right. I'm at the victory lap. It's the victory lap right now. I'm almost done. I just gotta I just, once I get through this pals, it's a, it's done. This is just I can't believe it. It's okay. Um, they, they they had a thing a while back about don't collect water from mosquitoes, don't and when they checked the meter, they came back here and I shut it back up. Next time they checked the meter they flipped it back over. They just did that? Yeah. You see how that worked? Like this is your property. If anything, they could have yeah, asked you. The like, thing is, they had this this uh, bill from the governor. But they gotta at least tell you what they're doing. Like yeah. that's destruction of property. Uh, technically, yeah. Like man, see, that's what made me mad. That's why I do this type of stuff. Cause even though the city can be good at times, it's like when it really matters, they don't really step in to help people. They're really just trying to get the next person voted in. It's it's exactly. It's, it's all like it's, it's all politics. Yeah. I gotta go sit down. Buddy. No, come on. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm, it's it's time to go. I was waiting for you to pull up. You came earlier. It's a sidewalk there. This is, I can't believe it. That's why when I started working here, I said, the what? I've never seen them before. Oh, you never seen those? That's the first time I've seen them. Well, you got some recycle bins then. I'll probably get a lot of this done tomorrow, but it's, it's a process. I, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I really well, don't. Listen, man, thank you for being a, a good person. You know what I mean? You have only treated me with kindness since I've been here working for you. Yeah. Um, I meant to I appreciate leave some, you. Okay, I bought a little cooler like this, mm -hmm. okay? I was gonna leave some ice in it with a couple oh, of Gatorades or... Man, you well, know, you right. work out here, I'm gonna, I don't wanna come home and find you passed out. Ah, no, 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 I, bring, I got me a little, see that little gray bag? It got all the little drinks I need. Okay. I'm, I make sure I come back here, I set up shop. Well, I just go to work. Some ice out there for you. <laughs> okay, let's go, man. Let me get All you in the. Days, what we're doing? What we're doing at work now? We don't go to the ice school. We just put them out. We ride around John Deere Gators. Mm -hmm. We just put them out on the cup holders. Oh, that's nice of y'all to and do. It's cold. Oh enough. my goodness! It's you do cold that enough that it cools it down. You do that? Yeah. That's so nice. And then they just come back like, oh, thank you, and just drink it instantly. Like, yeah. no, that's nice of y'all to do, man. It's some. It's just about looking out for each other. You ain't yeah. gotta do what you can't. But just if you have something in your mind that you can do, that yeah. is that you're okay with doing, then do it. You know, whether it's small or big, anything, something matters more than nothing. You know, that's so. gonna be even better cut down because that'll come back. It'll be nice. Yeah, and that's what I wanted. I said because um, block the wind off those windows. Me and my best friend did that to his trees in his yard, and then within the next year, they were nice and round and bushy. So I'm hoping they grow from the stumps and just kind of form better because it was just. Yeah like spider webs, yeah. you know, like the branches were all dead and stuff and growing in between each other. Yeah. Hey, let me blow your um, your carport okay. driveway off and then I'm out of here and I'll come back tomorrow. Sound good? Okay. Sounds works for me. All right, man. Let's get out of here. You. you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hey, you too, you too, man. I really appreciate you for that. I, I didn't tell you, like, you said you don't celebrate and uh, we kind of connect because my dad is a Jehovah Witness yeah. and my mom is a Baptist. So, oh. gr so growing up, it was, and that's why they divorced, I'm sure, because they divorced when I was like eight years old. And I was wondering, and then as I got older, I said, 
did yeah, my you dad was having a hard time. I lived with both of them for a good amount of time in my life. They shared me. So I didn't celebrate some years, then I would celebrate some years. And my dad's birthday is on Christmas Day. That's gotta be, that's, that's gotta be <laughs> that's, confusing. That's you know? crazy. So he was born into yeah. it, so it ain't nothing to him that his yeah. birthday is on Christmas Day. He never celebrated. So um, that's why I, some years I don't, and that's why I don't, I don't even blame you for it. If yeah, I have I, family uh, around that wanna celebrate, I'll celebrate. If I'm not around people, I, it's another day. I'm happy. I'm alive. My, uh, grandfather was German Jewish. Mm -hmm. Very strict, Hasidic. My grandmother was Catholic Irish. Oh wow! <laughs> you want to talk about a combination? Oh yeah. So it's like fought like cats and dogs, but I've never seen two, two people more in love with each other. But that's what happened. You see how strong love is? Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. <laughs> hey, be careful, man. 